L'shem Hashem Na'asem Ha'asech, Mitzvah number 50. It is a positive com- commandment to give honor to a Kohen, the descendants of Aharon. As the Torah says in Parashat, Emor in Vayikra 21.8, Vekidashto, you shall make him holy. Which means to make him holy and prepare him for such holiness, that he be fit and ready to offer sacrifices at the holy temple, the Bet HaMikdash, and also to treat him with honor, making him first in every matter of Kedusha, holiness. He's the first one to say the blessing on the Torah. He's the first one to say a bracha at a meal. And we offer the most scrumptious and fine portion in the meal first to the Kohen. We are duty-bound to make him holy even against his will. Even he, even he, if he does not wish such honor. As it says, make him holy and chazal darshin, even against his will. Even if a Kohen is chas v'shalom a balmum, he's disfigured and he's defective to serve in the temple, we still are obligated to honor him. This applies at every time and every place for both men and women. Rabbi Stern just brings down some fascinating things on this mitzvah. He says the Rivash brings in the Chuvus that somebody that embarrasses a Kohen is going to get a bigger punishment from Hashem than just embarrassing a random regular Jew. The second idea here is, can a Kohen um, relinquish and forgive his honor? It seems that the Maharam Rutenberg holds you're allowed to, Nishinabura says it's not clear because the Grozal brings a raya from the Rambam and the Mechilta and the Tesefta in Sanhedrin that you're not allowed to. A father and mother are allowed to forego their honor and forgive their honor, but uh, according to the Grozal, a Kohen is not. So we have to be very careful to respect them. The Knesset HaGedola brings that he is seen from testing it out that's people that abuse Kohanim and don't honor them, like if a Kohen works for you, they don't see bracha in their life. So this is something that applies nowadays. If you want to go more into it, the Mishnah Bura talks about this in uh, Reish Aleph in Orachayim.